Welcome to the Joy of Music. My name is Diane Bish, and today on the program, we bring you the elegance, charm, and beauty of the Chautauqua Institution, located on the sparkling waters of Chautauqua Lake. With excerpts from a live concert performed on the great Massey Memorial Organ in the famous 5,000 seat amphitheater. Thank you for joining us. Chautauqua Institution, which began in 1874 as a training camp for Sunday school teachers, was the inspiration of Lewis Miller and John Heil Vincent. They established Chautauqua's focus on lifelong learning. The lake was the main entrance in those days, and as many as 20 lake steamers carried people to and from here each day. The lake is still a very important part of life here at Chautauqua. The centerpiece of Chautauqua Institution grounds is the amazing 5,000-seat amphitheater, where worship services, lectures, and concerts are held daily. Sound checks are now going on for a concert tonight. The focal point, however, of the amphitheater is the largest outdoor organ in the world. The newly renovated organ, called the Massey Memorial Organ, houses 5,628 pipes, 130 stops, and four manuals. It was my pleasure to play in live concert on this amazing instrument.
morning as the sun rises from Chautauqua Lake. The essence of Chautauqua Institution's Christian heritage is reflected by the carillon bells praising God. Great hymns of the faith resound through the crisp, fresh morning air, renewing the soul and spirit. Following the playing of the bells at 9.15 a.m. daily, worship is held in the amphitheater with music and the spoken word, a time of meditation and inspiration for visitors and residents alike. Your steadfast love, O God, extends to the heavens, your faithfulness to the clouds. Your righteousness is like the mighty mountains. Your judgments are like the great deep. You save humans and animals alike, O Lord. How precious is your steadfast love, O God. All people may take refuge in the shadow of your wings. five-day summer season at Chautauqua, there are more than 2,000 events which take place. Almost everything that happens at Chautauqua is an opportunity for growth. A day on the grounds can include a devotional service, a round of golf, a game of tennis, or all three, and end with bluegrass, jazz, or classical music, an opera, or a play. What happens in between is up to you. You may decide to have a cup of coffee with a friend at a corner cafe, learn how to sail or how to build and play a mountain dulcimer. Or you may choose to spend part of the afternoon learning or brushing up on a foreign language. Or listening to an author discuss her latest or his latest biography. However long your stay on the grounds, opportunities for enjoyment and enrichment abound.
Chautauqua is well known for its fine and performing arts presentations, family vacation opportunities, and provocative lecture series. It is a place that also provides faith and religious inspiration. Completed in 1906 and second only to the amphitheater in programming importance is the Hall of Philosophy, which stands behind me. It holds audiences of 745 people and is the site of daily lectures by the Department of Religion as well as book discussions by famous authors. sayings here at Chautauqua is see you on the porch. Much of life here at Chautauqua takes place on these inviting porches, eating, relaxing, reading, and conversing with family and friends. stimulating porches is the Wensley House porch, presided over by its hostess, Winnie Llewellyn, entertaining famous visiting artists, politicians, and entertainers for over 20 years. I'm sitting here on the porch with our wonderful Wensley House hostess, lovingly known as Winnie. Winnie, what's it like to entertain dignitaries and presidents and uh, uh, famous artists and musicians every day of the week. Intimidating. I'm sure not for you, though. Uh, well, after 20 years, uh, I really never do quite uh, get over a feeling of uh, awesomeness. And uh, the, the, the house is just characterized by a constant stream of coming and going bright, uh, talented, uh, people from every walk of life. But Mrs. Wensley, who gave the house to the institution in the 60s, had this marvelous concept that the guests of Chautauqua should enjoy each other as well as Chautauqua. Can you tell us, Winnie, some of the most exciting people you have had here as guests? Uh, I'm often asked the most exciting mix of people. And it's an easy one because it was in the mid-80s when we had, are you ready, the following. In the living room, Roger Williams, who, was concertized, uh, who had concertized and was eating a late night supper, Eugene McCarthy, Ginger Rogers, uh, Joyce Carol Oates, Shields and Yarnell, and uh, seems like uh, I think there was someone else. Isn't that exciting? Heloise. 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 Of, That's quite a, of the hints. A, a variety of people, I would say. It you know? was. Well, the job description, uh, if there is one, and I don't even know if it's written down, simply said, when I inherited the job, uh, do for, the, for these people what you would do if they were your house guests. And, and, and that's, that's exactly pretty what much you do. the way we operate here, uh -huh. informally. Well, you are a wonderful hostess, Winnie, and I have experienced your hospitality, and I thank you very much. Well, and I'd love to come here every summer because because it is a real joy. Well, you're very nice to say that. About 400 people would like this job. <laughs> <laughs> well, you're just the person to have it. Thank and you. <laughs> thank you for being on the joy. Of Not at all. <laughs>
thank you for joining us today on the Joy of Music as we have come to you from the Chautauqua Institution on the shores of Chautauqua Lake. We have experienced the beauty of God's creation, the smile on a child's face, a wonderful conversation with friends, the experience of beauty in lakes and gardens and trees, and in worshiping God through music. Thank you for joining us, and we look forward to seeing you again next week on The Joy of Music.